What's up weirdos? I think that it's a little bit weird when somebody in their 60s dates somebody in their early 20s. That's my opinion. I could listen. I, so when I saw a little bit of this video of this couple, I knew I had to make a video about it because oh my god, I just have to talk about this with somebody. I can't do this alone. Okay, let's just look at how this starts. This is 23 year old Willow and she fell in love with 62 year old David. Right there, seven seconds in, I'm out. Although I love the narrator in these videos. This is Willow. She fell in love with David. Meanwhile, they're just showing a child and then her grandparent. David, first of all, stop it. That face you're looking at me with, that, that. <laughs> I don't like how happy you are to be making this video. Let's keep going, let's keep going. We met on freaking Tinder. Shout out to Tinder. We will take sponsorships. <laughs> there is no way you guys are compatible. That was all I needed. I needed 14 seconds, only four of which were you two talking to realize you are not compatible. We met on freaking Tinder. We'll take sponsorships. And him not really listening to her, just objectifying his granddaughter in age. Like that look he's giving of her. I don't like it. But wait for this bombshell that's about to drop, which made me pause the video and start recording. It's safe to say that their first date was a success after they became boyfriend and girlfriend within an hour. Getting ready to go to our anniversary dinner. Three months. Just to make sure you're tracking with me, they met on Tinder, then became boyfriend and girlfriend after one hour on their first date. How in these three months were they able to get a documentary film crew to come film them for this video? Did you know it's actually not easy to pitch? Well, because they were posting on TikTok, Cowboy and Angel, the king and queen of Blackjack. By the way, a hundred percent created by the man. There's no way that she thought of that as a cool name. This is the vibe of a guy who was like, yeah, the, the king and queen of Blackjack. Yeah, let's go to Vegas, baby. Put it all on black. Vegas, baby. I'm a cowboy, baby. No, you are a 62 year old man dating a girl in her early 20s. What are you doing, David? Ew, David! David, ew! David, no! Nah, nah. Anyways, they have this TikTok account where they were posting videos and going viral because of their, you know, extraordinarily shocking age gap. For instance, this one with 19.9 million views. So I'm assuming that that went viral. This film crew reached out to them and then they immediately agreed because they just want attention. Or, or, or potentially Willow, who is an influencer, saw this as an opportunity to get, you know, a lot of views and followers. Here's the thing. No, 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 let's, let's keep watching. My baby just moved in three days ago. We're still unpacking, trying to figure out how much of my closet I'm giving up? Most likely a bunch. She moved in three days ago. So you guys have been dating for three months. By the way, starting an hour into your first date and now she's moving in. Here's the thing, Willow is an influencer. Like she has like a TikTok and an Instagram, whatever. Her videos of the two of them were blowing up. I'm sure that she saw this as like an opportunity of this is a crazy dynamic and people are gonna be like, oh, he's so old and you're so young. Oh my gosh, you're so cool, we stand you. Or at least like, I don't know. It's like, uh, I can understand that there's probably no small percentage of her motivation coming from the fact that this is giving her a lot of attention. I can understand that. But here's my thing. No matter if she's getting something out of this in terms of that, like she's using it to get this. David, a 62 year old man is going along with it being like, yeah, I'd like to date a 23 year old at my ginormous age of 62. That's grandpa granddaughter age gap. That's absurd. And listen, there is the nuance of she's getting something out of it. She's getting attention. Blah, blah, blah. So what's wrong with him doing it? Listen, if somebody puts a kitten in front of me, and they say, hey, if you punch this kitten, it'll get adopted because it's gonna go viral, everybody's gonna be talking about it, and people are gonna wanna save that kitten. Am I gonna then punch the kitten? No, because I don't wanna punch the kitten. And David, no matter if she's benefiting from getting a little bit of attention, you should not want to date a 23 year old. Hey, but that's me. So that's me. Okay, let's, let's keep going. When I first met him, I didn't ask you how old you were. I didn't really ask you what you did. I didn't want to really know anything. I didn't want to be influenced by anything outside. I just wanted to like know him as a person. Okay, but well, can I ask you this? Why? Why? Also, I didn't ask him what his age is as if he could have potentially been also in his 20s. Like you're looking at that man. You don't really need to know his age. All you know is he's too old. What's his age? It's too big. That's what it is. When you're 23 and the man is there, his age is just Two, two, T-O-O, -O. it's just two age. He's got two age on it. I don't know if that's working. But really, you just wanted to get to know him, you didn't care about anything else, and you started dating after one hour? What? How are you gonna meet a man on Tinder and then go on one date and be boyfriend, girlfriend after an hour? When you're 23! 
362. Again, her decision making might not be so good, but I'm gonna put a lot more blame on the person who's giving her the opportunity to date. You know what I mean? Not the opportunity, but I'm saying like, yeah, if a 70 year old man comes up to a 19 year old and is like, hey, hey, you want to date? And she's like, uh, okay. Hey, guess what? I don't care that she said, okay. I care about the 78 year old man going, hey, little girl. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I was a little concerned about her age because I was like, you're really young. I have a baby face. I do. Okay, you have a baby face and you are three times younger than him. Yeah, and yeah, 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 uh, yeah. By the way, at no age is three times younger acceptable. 90 and 30, okay. 23 and 62? I don't care if you have a baby face. By the way, if she's saying, oh, I have a baby face, I'm 23 with a baby face. So what, you're saying you look like you're 16? That doesn't make it better, you know what I mean? To have a baby face, I just, I just look younger than I actually am, which is 23. Not mad at her, again, not mad at her. Probably wouldn't be friends with her, not, not really obsessed with her vibe, but really I'm having a problem with D-A-V-I-D-I-C-K. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say, I should. I, here's the thing. I'm totally fine with saying cuss words. Trust, trust me on that. Trust me, I'll say cuss words. I just don't want YouTube to get mad at me. So sometimes I feel like, oh, Cooper's like, oh, he's scared to say cuss words. Oh, he's a baby. No, I'm the fucking bad boy of YouTube. I just don't know how many I can say before they get mad at me. But I want to watch a little bit more, get a little bit more context into their relationship before we get to the crazy part of the video where he invites his friends to hang out with them. And you really get to see what their whole like dynamic is. Cause it's, uh, I kissed him first on the walk home. Oh, that's uh, your first kiss. And from there, it's been constant, constant, nonstop for the last ninety days. Okay, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't get it. Their first kiss was on the walk home, and he's recording it. By the way, their girlfriend, boyfriend at that point. Yeah, I guess you're kissing, but like recording and then being like, "Here's our first kiss." What are you well, like? Is she thinking to herself, "This is just for content. Like, I'm just gonna date this guy." just get some content, it's gonna be viral. Is that what she's thinking? Or is she actually thinking, oh no, I really like this grandparent. Cause I don't get it, I don't get it. I don't get it. By the way, I have a girlfriend and her name's Sophia. And you know what, she's not a 23 year old while I'm 62. So I don't understand how this can be a relation. It doesn't make any sense to me. Where's the recording coming? It just, wh keep going, keep going, a little bit more. He acts like a 15 year old boy. I get B12 energy shots, I do. For real. Yeah, I do. To keep up, life literally is not fast enough for me. She has to get B12 energy shots to keep up with him. He named their joint account Cowboy and Angel, which is not her name, by the way. Her name's Willow. Uh, the king and queen of Blackjack. He, he, so he's doing that, taking them to Vegas, dating a 23-year-old. And also she offhandedly said right there that he acts like a 15-year-old, which, you know, I'm just only receiving in bad, inappropriate, like, you know, that type of like, you know, oh, oh, 15-year-old boys, you know how they are, like going through puberty. I don't like that. And she has to take energy shots to keep up with him as if it's like some cool thing of, oh, no, no, no. I know I'm younger, but he's actually so fast, walks around a lot fast. I, I, I don't know the point. And I don't like the point. I don't. And I don't get, I don't, I don't okay. God, I just don't get it. By the way, weirdos, the, the necklace is a restock. By the way, they're real pearls, real stones, sterling silver clasps. They're really high quality stuff. I wanna make sure they're high quality. Everything is restocked. Oh, except, oh, that one sold out. Oh, damn. Everyone loves this one. I keep giving mine to my friends because they keep asking for it. I, I gotta order another one for myself. Shut up. Sorry, I had to take a second to look at the beautiful artistic creations. By the way, I make necklaces because I used to make jewelry with my mom and it's a way to connect with my artistic roots of crafts and arts and crafts with my mom. And my age gap between my mom and me is a lot less than the age gap between between her and him, so uh, transition. <laughs> I tell all my friends it's way. I see. Don't. I said, do not give me any crap. So this is where it really happens. This is what is so mind-blowing to me. It's just watching the interaction that's about to take place because this is a 60-year-old man inviting his 60-year-old friends over to all hang out with his 23-year-old girlfriend. This really puts it into context because if you're looking at the two of them, you can, you can, you can, no, you can't. You can't say it's okay. You, you can't. It's fine. It's fine. It's legal. Whatever. It's fine. Don't give me that BS like, people are adults. They can do whatever they want. Okay. And I can still look at a 62-year-old man dating a 23-year-old and go, hey, David. David, knock it off, knock it off. But first, real quick, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, The Farmer's Dog. This is my fluffy dog, Gustav. He is a sweet boy, I love him so much. He means the world to me, which is why I wanna make sure that he's getting high quality food with high quality ingredients. Cause we all know eating processed food is not healthy. And kibble is subject to multiple rounds of high heat processing. So it's ultra processed food. And even though he's a dog, I want him to be able to eat stuff that's fresh like me. So now I feed Gustav the farmer's dog. It's real, fresh, healthy food and he loves it. It is actually not easy for me to get Gustav to eat new foods. But when I got the farmer's dog, look at this video of how excited he is about it. Like he 
actually loves it. And it's made with whole meat and real veggies, it's good stuff. And it's all gently cooked in human grade kitchens to preserve its nutritional value. And they do personalized meal plans for every dog. Their vet developed recipes for as little as $2 a day, which is a very good deal. And the meals arrive in those pre-proportioned ready to serve packets like I showed you in that video a second ago. It really has never been easier to invest in your dog's health. And if you use my link in the description, you get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food. And you get free shipping. So go to the link in my description, click it, and get your dog good, healthy food. Sincerely, thank you so much to Farmer's Dog for sponsoring this video. Now back to the other stuff. The point is, when you see them in context where it's like, oh, this is what his lifestyle is, this is who his friends are, this is his group, and then you see a 23-year-old. Puts into a little bit more context. Honey, how are you? How are you? Good. You good? Good to see you. I'm great. You look beautiful as always. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah. So that was just about four seconds of pure young girl meeting her distant relatives at a family reunion that she doesn't really know. Hey, sweetie. How are you doing? Ah, oh, that is your great aunt. Not your peer. Not your boyfriend's friend. Not your friend. That is your aunt's, like, grand cousin that makes a mean pecan pie and you absolutely want to get two slices of that bad boy. Not your friend. Okay, let's keep going. Because how do they talk together? How, how, what do they talk about? Did you see the finale of Riverdale? The way that it ended with a quad? That was absolutely weird. I don't understand what Jughead and Archie would do. Oh, Jughead and Archie? I, I read those comics all the time. Oh, I, I love the Archie Bunker comics. Now I'm talking about KJ Abba and Carl Sprouse. Carl Sprouse? Isn't that that cabbage with mayonnaise? That's who they are. By the way, if you were in your 60s or in your 50s or in your 40s, I am not trying to make fun of you. You are a wonderful powerful person. I'm just trying to draw a distinction. For my weirdos in their 50s and 60s, I just want to say we stand strong with you and we desperately want to know your opinion on Ice Spice. Is this, is this, is this not a level? Is that better? Did I fix it? Okay. Is, wait, is this not a level? Is that better? Did I fix it? Oh, sorry. My bad. I tripped on a rug. <laughs> you remember our trip to Puna? Brought my beautiful model, my little Willow. And, you know, I was a little nervous bringing her out, you know, bringing her over to meet y'all. Honestly, what do y'all think? I mean, there's a big age difference. <laughs> they're just not talking to her. Like, this is not people who are hanging out. This is, by the way, they're like just talking to him. Like, they're just looking at him. Willow's like, it's three months. And they're like, three months or something. I'm gonna call that super supportive. And you know what, David? I think you just gotta really read between the lines. And just when you're with your friends, think to yourself, does this 23-year-old feel out of place in our vibes? And I'm gonna say, if you don't think that she's out of place. You need to reevaluate every single opinion that you have on your life. And also maybe stop calling yourself cowboy. I don't know, you are 62 years old. Maybe maybe leave that in the dust. And by the way, he talked about like Puna, Punta. So I guess they went on a vacation, the four of them all together to Punta Cana, which Sofia went to with her family recently. Uh, and now to Sofia for opinion on Punta Cana. What did you think of Punta Cana? Punta Cana was very fun. Would you have liked to go there as a 23 year old girl with a 62 year old man and his 60 year old friends? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's Sofia's opinion. <laughs> but who cares nowadays? You know, if you guys love each other and you're happy together, then, you know, go for it. <laughs> That's just not a ringing endorsement. People are doing, you know, whatever nowadays. Now you got, you got boys marrying boys. Uh, what's next? A girl marrying a girl? What are you gonna call that? A lesbian? I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I mean, so it's whatever. So you know, if you're happy, you know, whatever. What's next? Blacks and whites going to the same school? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to. You know what I mean? Like they're just different eras. They're just different people. This is not. This is not like a friend group. And in no way is that supportive. And by the way, thank goodness for it not being supportive. I'm actually sorry, dude. You're just being a regular real person. I'm so sorry for like saying that stuff. No, you're not saying anything homophobic or racist at all. Oh my God, I feel bad. He's literally just looking at the relationship and being like, whatever. Whatever, I mean, go, yeah, whatever. I'm reading between the lines and seeing like he doesn't support it. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that, that was me. Hey, I'm just trying to make jokes, Jim. I think his name's Jim. He looks like a Jim. Look at that man. Jim, I don't know a lot about you, but what I do know is this, I like your vibe. You got, your, your vibe is a little bit different and you're very tough. Like you post up differently. Your swag is on another level and I know your golf game is elite. Nice shot. I'm gonna be dead honest. When I saw her with you, I thought, she's way too pretty for you. How did you marry her? <laughs> <laughs> You're just as sweet then as, 
as you are now. Okay. I thought to myself, how did you get someone so pretty? No, you thought to yourself, why are you dating my 62 year old friend, little girl? I know that that's what you thought, but she's a genuine sweet person, obviously, because you don't want to get mad at the girl who's obviously, you know, not in the, the getting the good, receiving the good, getting the good into the, on the good end, on the receiving into the good end of the situation. You don't want to get mad at her. <laughs> that's why I'm a commentary channel, because I come with clear, concise commentary. Champ, comments. We have a lot in common. I'm born February 2nd, she's February 3rd. And her favorite number is like 23. Yeah, and so I'm the second, she's the third. So there's a lot of, and we constantly see two, three everywhere. Wait, it's actually like you're kind of made for each other. She was born on February 2nd, 2000. Ew, wait a minute, ew, ew, ew. Hey Siri, if I'm 62 and I was born on February 3rd, what year was I born in? You've given me nothing. Siri, you're pointless. Oh wait, but this was also released at the end of last year and it's January, so he... Oh my God, oh my God. Wait, how does that work? Wait, you're 1962 if he's 62 years old? Wait a second, does that make sense? Wait a minute. Oh, cause 2024, okay, okay. So anyways, here's the joke. She was born on February 2nd, you were born on February 3rd. That's a lot in common, except wait, you were born in February 3rd, 1962, and she was born February 2nd, 2000. Simmer on that for a second, 1962, and the year 2000. Okay, okay, are we on the same page here? We good here? We connecting here? If you think it's okay to be born in 1962 and date somebody who was born in the year 2000, just stop everything that you're doing, just stop it and just change every aspect of your life. Also, what are you talking? Okay, let me show this clip again. And her favorite number is like 23. Yeah, and so I'm the second, she's the third. So there's a lot of, two, three. and we constantly see two, three everywhere. It's crazy. I mean, you are it's crazy. Two, three, she's 23. We see two, three all over the place. It's, it's weird. Like we were meant to be or something. No, if you were meant to be, you both would have been born in 1960s or or the year 2000s. And Jim is thinking that, exactly. Because when he's saying this BS about two and three, look at Jim's face. And her favorite number is like 23. Yeah. I'm with Jim. Jim, by the way, so sorry that I said that stuff about, you know, desegregation, gay marriage, desegregation. Jim, I'm sorry that I was saying that. I was trying to be funny. I was trying to make jokes, but it ended up being at your expense when you were doing nothing wrong. In fact, you were one of the only people doing anything right. So I love you, Jim. Unless I find something out bad about you. So I hope that you're good, Jim. Call me. We can connect later. Nice shot. Come to the wedding, right? If that were to happen, where would it be? Do y'all want to do it here? We're going to get a private jet to take everyone to Italy. You already told me that. To a long lasting relationship for you guys. Absolutely. We wish you the best. <laughs> Jim is not supportive. I love you, Jim. If you were to get married, where would that be? Okay? If, you, if you're really going to be talking about that, then, then let's get into the details, David. And then she's just like, oh, he's going to rent a private jet and take everybody to Italy. He has been lying to you, Willow. I don't know if you're believing the things that he's saying. He's got a nice place in New York City, okay? But I don't know if he has renting a private jet and flying all of his friends out to Italy to marry a girl that he started dating one hour into a Tinder date and has been with for three months. I don't know if he has that kind of money because that's that's irresponsible decision-making money. But wait a second. He, if we know one thing about David, makes irresponsible decisions. So you have a shot, Willow. Yeah, but if I'm Jim, I'm looking at uh, this relationship right here going, she is going to make him spend all of his money on her until he is broke and then she is going to leave him and it is going to be his fault. Because again, if you are a 23 year old woman sucking dry, I <laughs> stop, pause, pause, stop, stop. <laughs> if you are a, you know, a 23 year old girl and you are taking all the money, that's what I'm trying to say, from a 62 year old man who you're dating. Is that a bad thing? Yeah, okay, that's not nice. That's not, you know, you could be doing other things with your life that would be better and more productive, yeah. But if you are a 62 year old man who is giving a bunch of money to the 23 year old girl that he's dating, I am going to put all of the blame on the 62 year old man. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Like there's nuance here. Like, is she like, oh queen, we stand her, queen. No, it doesn't have to be like that. She can be a flawed person who we are really feeling more upset Set with the man in the situation about. Is that, am I, am, are the, I don't think the sentences are making sense, but I think the vibes are coming across. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, they go on their three month anniversary date. He looks like he is 80 years old. She looks like she is, I guess, 17 since she's a baby faced 23 year old. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. I don't even want to get into that anymore. I just had a flashback. Why would you call yourself baby faced when you are 23 years old? It's not like you're 40 and you're like, oh, I just look 23. You are 23 saying that you're baby faced. That's just making the man look worse, which is, you know, I, I'm with you. He does look, he's worse. Whatever 
he is, add one worse to it, that's what he is, and I'm good with that. I just don't like it, I just don't like it, I just don't like it, I just don't like it. I abhor his vibe. Actually, I don't even know if I can say that word because it sounds like I'm saying another word. A-B-H-O-R, and with a lot of mustard on it is what I do feel about him. Woo, I am really, really losing my mind off of this video. Goodness griefy gajis. Goodness griefious? Goodness gracious or good grief you know commentary stuff now let's see if they are still together and if they are happy last video february 2023 the video that we've been watching november 2023 huh then her instagram good grief oh my god okay no he's not there okay so damn <laughs> I guess true love didn't work. Oh my gosh, Jim was right. Everything has a happy ending. Cheers to David and Willow's relationship ending. Cheers. I'm drinking the pink juice. So what's our takeaway from this? Willow's vibes, in my opinion, are the type of person that I would not get along with in any context ever. That being said, in this situation, David is definitely like the bad person, okay? There's nuance to it. You cannot like somebody and then still be like, oh, well, this person is definitely way more in the wrong because they're 62 years old dating this 23 year old. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's our takeaway. Just don't be 62 dating 23 year olds. <laughs> Can you do that for me? Can you do that real quick? I love y'all weirdos so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. By the way, we're almost at a million followers. Subscribers? Uh, hits? <laughs> what did Jimmy Fallon say? We're almost at a million hits. This clip got 200,000 hits on TikTok. Yeah, that's not a viral video. What are you talking about? Why are you saying hits, by the way? My hair looks insane. I'm sorry. I've been going crazy on this video. It just makes me feel weird. I just I just don't like it. I just don't like it. And that's fine. I don't have to like everything. Guess what? Cody Ko and Scary Sunday is not going home. By the way, great song. Big fan of that song. Highly recommend you go watch it.